of a meeting of the Minnehaha County Planning and Zoning. And as a courtesy, make sure that all the cell phones are turned off. And also note that the Planning Commission meeting will be broadcast via CityLink and posted on www.minnehahacounty.org for viewing by the general public. Any final action taken on the conditional use permit applications tonight will take effect five working days following this meeting unless a written appeal of the Planning Commission's decision is filed in the Planning Office by Tuesday, May 29th at 5 p.m. In the event of an appeal, the decision will be referred to the County Commission for a hearing on either Tuesday, June 19th at or after 9 a.m. The, the affected parties will be notified of the meeting date and meetings of the County Commissioner are also held in this same room. At this time, the Planning Commission will consider the consent agenda a consent agenda and items on the consent agenda are perceived to be non-controversial and meet all the requirements of the codes and regulations. Uh, the consent agenda will be acted on in one motion with no public hearing on the items unless a member of the public, the commissioner staff, requests the items be removed from the consent agenda. Uh, the minutes from the meeting of April 23rd are included in the consent agenda. Are there any objections from the Planning Commission members to any item listed on the consent agenda? Seeing Seeing none, I will read each, and if there are any objections from anyone in the audience, please raise your hand, and the item will be moved to the regular agenda, and that will allow you time to address the commission later in the meetings. Start with number two. It's a continual, continual use permit, 18-25, to amend CUP, 13-35, to expand concrete precast outdoor storage yard on the properties legally described as Tract 1, Carlson Edition, and Tract 1, Harz Edition. Uh, the petitioner is Paul Korn, property owner is Carl B. Carlson, and that is approximately 2.5 miles southeast of Hartford. Item number three is conditional use permit 18-26 to allow temporary retail sales of fireworks on the property legally described as Tract 1, Safari Edition, uh, petitioner is Mike Denning, property owner is Sandy Sorum. That is approximately 2.5 5 miles north of Sioux Falls. Okay, we will take, we will remove item number three and move it to the regular agenda and then you will have your chance, okay? Since those are the only two items, we will, we'll need to approve item number one and item number two. Make a motion for item one and two. I'll second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. So that means that item number two, you are free to go. Number three, Kevin. Kevin Huckman, County Planning Department. Uh, item number three is conditional use permit to allow temporary retail sales of fireworks on a property uh, located approximately at 25793 475th Avenue, or two and a half miles north of Sioux Falls, uh, shown on the map here. Uh, this property is located also in uh, further description north of the Renner Corner gas station and north of the Safari Bar and Grill uh, at that Renner Corner. The petitioner is requesting a nine day temporary sales of uh, fireworks uh, on the property and that is allowed in C commercial district and A1 agricultural district uh, is this property is currently zoned and uh, splitting those two districts. Uh, the, your the petitioner is making this request uh, as he has recently acquired the sales trailer that was formerly used by uh, the Renner Lutheran Church uh, just south of the property. Uh, he, in asking staff about the conditional use permit, we have found out that that permit was in violation of a few conditions and uh, that we're not able to fix at the site because of part of it was the setback. Um, so uh, he uh, took it upon himself to find a new location, which is on this site, uh, to use that trailer. Um, uh, Yes. Staff recognizes that, oh, the petitioner is going to use, use that semi-trailer to sell fireworks out of. Uh, the area has an existing uh, driveway, an existing gravel uh, parking lot. And you can see in the site plan here that he has uh, parking right there. He has his trailer set 
in long ways north and south. Uh, he does have space for a porta potty to be set on the site, uh, and he has access onto the highway. Um, as staff reviewed this permit, uh, we'd like to say that that many fireworks stands create common problems that should be considered, including signage and attention grabbing devices can be limited uh, so that they not become a, a nuisance. Uh, so, and that nighttime light may become uh, problems as well. So if there's any temporary night uh, time lights that they should be shining uh, away from any residential uh, uses. And then, um, but it, still keep in mind that there's uh, sales that are gonna happen during a nine day period uh, during the summer. Uh, so I'll address some items a little bit more in the uh, conditional use permit criteria that I'll go over. Number one, the criteria that to consider the effect upon the use and enjoyment of the property and other surrounding area uh, for use is already permitted on the property values within the surrounding area. The proposed use will create a busy retail uh, center for a limited time period. Uh, and it is located near an existing commercial district, which is just in the south here. Uh, but it also is located near some residential uses to the north and across the road. Uh, the uh, firework sales can lead to uh, the possibility of igniting the fireworks, uh, and that should be avoided or uh, prohibited uh, so that they do avoid nuisances to the neighbors and complaints. Um, number two, the effect upon a normal and orderly development and improvement of surrounding vacant properties for uses prominent in the area. Uh, this proposed firework stand is located on a vacant lot. Uh, it is using temporary shelter, which will be easy to then future develop this current lot uh, into a commercial property as it is currently zoned. Um, many residential parcels in the area are already developed. Uh, so it would be difficult to for uh, many other properties to start building houses nearby as uh, and there isn't many more available. Um, so the <coughs> property should have little to no effect on future development in the area. Number three, the utilities, access road, drainage, or other necessary facilities are provided. And staff visited the site. Um, I'll move to a quick picture here. And uh, staff noticed that the one driveway that comes in and out uh, is very narrow uh, and then there's a steep drop off on either side of this paved section of the driveway. Uh, staff recommends that the driveway uh, be widened as to allow two cars, <coughs> one coming in and one coming out uh, into the driveway. Uh, minor corrections could be made using gravel or uh, crushed asphalt or, or similar means uh, to allow for that traffic th traffic flow. Uh, the neighboring, uh, the neighbor that lives to the north uh, did stop in the office today and express concerns about the driveway as he, the uh, current establishment has had patrons use his driveway to come into the property um, and he would like to avoid that being further uh, used. And number four, criteria number four, that off-street parking and loading requirements are met. Uh, the site plan does in indicate eight parking spaces and it's likely large enough to accommodate more than that. That should be enough to accommodate the fireworks sales. Uh, condition, or criteria number five, and that measures are taken to control offensive odors, fumes, dust, noise, and vibration and lighting, inclusive lighted signs. So none of these will constitute a nuisance. Uh, as noted earlier, this may create a busy retail environment for a short period of time. Uh, fire, fireworks should not be allowed to be discharged on the site um, and artificial light should be directed down. Um, the, the same neighbor who, who is concerned about driveway uh, has brought up concern about the lights of vehicles flashing into his house uh, as they park. Uh, this can be mediated possibility with uh, talking with the petitioner. We haven't had a chance to do that yet. 
uh, for maybe changing the site plan around to maybe uh, changing how traffic flow happens in the, the property uh, to avoid lights shining in, the, in his property. And then number six, the health, safety, and general welfare of the par public in the comprehensive plan. Uh, this is an area that is conducive for commercial uses and a temporary sale should fit within the intended plan uh, for the area. Uh, staff does recommend approval for conditional use permit 1826 with the following conditions. Uh, number one, the property shall adhere to the submitted site plan. Number two, no outside storage shall be allowed at any time. Number three, the retail sales of the fireworks must abide by all applicable South Dakota laws and regulations. Number four, the retail sales of fireworks may only be marketable for nine days per calendar year. Number five, all outdoor lights in use for the trailer to eliminate the parking area shall be directed away from the single family dwellings. Number six, temporary signs for the business are allowed to be placed no earlier than June 13th and must be taken down by July 10th. One temporary freestanding sign is allowed not to exceed 64 square feet and, and shall be placed on the subject property. Uh, number seven, any flags, pennants, and similar attention grabbing devices shall not be located in the right of way. Uh, shall not block the view of traffic entering or exiting the property and shall only be placed during the n regular nine day selling period of June 27th through July 5th. Number eight, no parking or stacking of vehicles shall be allowed in the right of way at any time. Number nine, the driveway access to the property must be must receive minimal improvements of the level level gravel shoulders to allow 24 feet of total driving width. Proper permits from the South Dakota DOT must be acquired if required. Uh, number 10, the hours of operation for the public must not exceed 8 a.m. to 12 a.m. midnight. Set up and tear down activities outside of the nine days of sale must take place between 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. Number 11, no fireworks shall be stored on the site before June 10th or after July 31st. Number 12, that the Planning and Zoning Department reserves the right to enter and inspect the fireworks stand at any time after proper notice to the owner to ensure that the property is in full compliance with the conditional use permit conditions of approval and of Minneapolis County Zoning Ordinance. Um, I'll go through a few more of these pictures, start at the beginning. So this is the driveway looking into the parking lot. Uh, you'll see the sign just to the left here, this is the south, where the safari bar patio is located. The building on the right there, what, that's the shed's of, edge of the shed there? Yes, this building right here is the shed for the neighboring property owner to the north. Uh, and this is looking north from the parking lot. Um, that's the neighboring, the nearest house to the north um, and his shed. I'm looking kind of towards the other residential development area across the street, a couple angles for that. And again, the driveway, which is uh, pretty narrow, uh, could likely just be fixed with a little gravel uh, filling in the, um, the shoulders of the driveway. Looking down the highway, you'll see that it's busy highway and we have addressed in, in previous uh, permits and rezonings. Uh, that there's lots of people going by very fast, so we want to make sure there's plenty of room to uh, pull in and out. And then this is looking south from the driveway. And a little closer look at the shoulder of each side of the road. And that is it. Go back two slides, please. Uh, one more. Okay, so what's the area between the pavement and the parking lot there is that it's gravel or yeah well this is kind of a, a boulevard there's a curb here so that people oh, don't a drive curb. on it um, where this vehicle is parked right here uh, there is probably a two foot tall wall preventing vehicles from traveling through that parking area but you can park on the north side of that and then walk to the bar and restaurant yes 
Bill had one slide Kevin. Now is is there a culvert under that driveway at all? I can't see it from this picture. That's a good question. I'm not Just sure. Just wondering if uh, you put gravel in, if there's a culvert there, so there's a chance that the gravel could fall over and you know flow water down went through there. That's you're right. I'm not sure that there is a culvert there. Maybe do you know? Looks like it from this picture. I guess. I guess. That side kind of looked like it, but the other side. Uh, looks like the. The other side doesn't. Um, the neighbor says that there's a culvert there, so. But so if you had put gravel there, would that be adequate width then, to meet I, the requirements for coming and going? So, so I I would estimate that this driveway here is probably. 12 feet maybe a little bit wider than that as it is the paved portion then this gravel right here uh, if you add that into it on both sides oops wrong way uh, you probably are going to get really close if not meeting that 24 foot okay. as it is i don't see the exit from that uh, culvert there but no, you don't see it there. it's probably covered up sorry <laughs> to say but that's probably what happened with the gravel but there was one slide where there's a drain. There was a yeah. drain cover on there. Uh, yeah, I saw oh, that. Okay. Yeah. I don't know which uh, slide that was. A couple at. slides back. So, so this would be. I'm standing on the driveway. You're looking south. There. Yeah, looking mm -hmm. south, and uh, so there's runoff. Looks like coming from the driveway or from the parking lot. Um, it might just be running well, over. There was. A, I thought there was a drain cover on one of them. Yeah. In one of those two pictures, you had. Slides back. I this way? Mm -hmm. Go back no, a couple. The other, other way. Right there. Yeah, oh. There's one right there, right in the middle. That's looking north. Though, oh, it? yeah. Yep. I think there would be, yep. Okay, any other questions for Kevin? I, I do. You know, we've got the requirement about no gravel, like onto a, on exiting onto a paved road. If we're allowing them to make use gravel to make that driveway, wide enough um, how does that how does that fix with or mix with what we have usually required for pavement going on to a paved road um, sure uh, probably the last time that we allowed a gravel driveway onto this paved road uh, would be the fireworks sales on 12th Street um, uh, for I think, yeah, it's 12th Street out by... Uh, last uh, Chance. Yeah, yeah la <laughs> Last Chance. There, that is a gravel driveway as it is a temporary use entering that. Um, I believe we required something like 40 feet of gravel driveway to enter into the property so that they didn't, at minimum, keep out the mud, if not... Um, Speed limit there on West 12th, though, is a lot less. Yeah. Our hard surface requirements would allow for um, a crushed asphalt that is uh, sealed with a sealer too. Um, with hydrochlorine or whatever it is, the chlor. No, you, you put it like a tar okay. sealer. Keep seal. Okay, is the petitioner here? Will you please come forward, state your name and address? Mike Denning with the fireworks store, 6605 West 52nd Street, Sioux Falls. Any questions for the petitioner? Mike, uh, thanks for coming. What about security there? It's on the north side of the bar. Who's going to be watching it? Uh, 12:30 in the morning. Uh, it locks up at night. Uh, the church had had it on the south side of the renter corner there for 15 years, and what they did was they just locked it up at night. Uh, and uh, as Kevin shared with you earlier, it wasn't in compliance, so I, that's why I'm moving it up to that lot, um, and to be in compliance with uh, the recommendations and what you're doing. So to answer your question, uh, Jeff, we would just lock it up like they had in the past with padlocks. There's two doors. Um, on those trailers, 
uh, the door locks and then you put a padlock through it. So you, I mean, I suppose if you're the professional thief, you can get in anything, but it's pretty secure. Any other questions? What was wrong with the south location that you guys used for 19 years or? Oh, the church used it for 15 years is my understanding and it's, it doesn't meet the requirement. You have to be back 50, 50 feet from the road. And, we'll, and I think when we, fig when we, we got on, on the site, it was maybe 10 or 15 where they placed it for the last 15 years. So that's why. Did it have a better driveway? Is the driveway down all there? Cement, yeah, it's all, all mm -hmm. paved there, yeah. It is. Um, I have a question. Um, you're aware of number nine, which they're talking about enough driving with. I mean, I, I mean, I think that that is a big thing for me. It's a safety thing, you know, people coming in and out. And I don't know how many you have coming in and out. I know closer it gets, I'm sure it gets pretty busy. Right. But you're well aware of what that needs to be done there. I'm well aware of that, and okay. I, will, I will comply with your recommendation. Okay. Whether it's loose gravel or mixed asphalt or whatever, we will do that. First off, I'm going to go back to talk to Mrs. Sorum, Sandy Sorum, to make sure who owns the property, share with her what the recommendations are to make sure she's okay with it, and then then I would move ahead. Because if she doesn't want me to do that, then then that's all for not. I, I want to make sure we're all on the same page. Right. <laughs> Anyone else? Thank you. Yep. Thank you. Anyone in the audience, opposition? Do you come forward, state your name and address, please? Yeah, I definitely don't like it. But what, I, what I'm concerned Could about. Could you please state your name and address? I'm sorry, Jim Quinn. My address is 25789 475th Avenue, the first place north of the lot we're talking about. Number one. I put up with screaming tires from motorcycles, cars, at two and after in the morning. I like to go to bed. My wife goes to work at six o'clock in the morning. We like to go to bed about eight o'clock at night. We can't. There's just noise continually. There's cars coming in and out of that driveway. There is way, there's gonna be accidents one after another. I can tell you that right now. All you'd have done is been out there and observed what happens on a Sunday out there when they have 50 motorcycles and about 150 cars all around there, all different places. I see no reason to be having a firecracker stand open till midnight. I'll argue that one with you. I see no reason for, there's garbage all over the place. Even when they had the firecracker stand on the other side, there was paper and material blown all over Helter Skelter out there. It was just a, uh, and you can't get a police officer out there. I haven't seen a, a squad car go by my place. I, there's one goes by at about uh, 10 minutes after seven in the morning. That's the only one you see all day long. I don't know what the deal is, why we have to put up with all this. They, they come out of that bar, they're filthy drunk. They shoot right across the lot, jump over my berm right there, go out my driveway, squeal on their god dang tires. It's, it's just utterly ridiculous. And I don't think anybody would, would stand for this. They, I have seen them light firecrackers when they had your trailer house, had your trailer over there on the opposite side. I've seen them light firecrackers 10 feet from there, if even that. That's asking for one wild explosion. That's just my opinion. I'm not for it. I'm sorry. I hate to see progress. I hate to stop anything. But if, if it can be observed, you're gonna, he's going to have to completely redo that in and out driveway. There's room for one vehicle. I've seen many of them start to come in, lock up their brakes, sit there, wait for the other one to get out. It's just not safe. I don't know what else to say. Gentlemen, if you've got a question for me I, or ma'am, ask me. I'll be glad to tell you. But I just, I'm not comfortable with it. Jeff? So, Thank you. Mr. Quinn, uh, uh, do they come in? and park there going to the bar and then cut across all that grass and go yeah, out your driveway? They, drive, they get all snockered up, they shoot right across, they rev up their motors, fly across, boom, boom, out my driveway, <laughs> either way they go, motorcycles, the same damn thing. Um, is What could be done to make this uh, 
uh, a better project from your point of view? If there was a fence on the north side of that to keep traffic from going through? or I, I tell you what I think. If, if he goes ahead and does it, if they do it, I'm going to line that whole side of my edge up there with trailers. I'm going to go rent some trailers and park them there to put a stop so they can't get across there. Where's your lot line on this picture here? Can you show well, us? Well, you see the black top of my driveway? Yeah. The lot light runs about four foot this side. Okay, so the rest of that is the Sorum's land then? Right. Okay. I mean, I, I, I don't want to stop anybody from making a dollar. I understand the profits are supposed to go to the church. I don't know if they are or not. But that's, I just, I don't want to see somebody get killed. I don't want to see somebody get hurt. I don't want to see an accident happen that's not supposed to. It's just something, an ounce of prevention has always been my th philosophy in life. It's just not a good thing, but that's my opinion. And I'll be glad to answer any questions. Thank you. Petitioner, you want to come forward again, please? I think we can resolve some of this. Uh, I would agree, Mr. Quinn, with your, your concerns. I, I want to get to bed, too. Uh, I don't like it, even though I'm in the business. To, I can't get to bed at 2 o'clock in the morning. I agree with that. As far as the property, we've done this before. We put up a fence. Uh, you know, We have fence drivers put up a fence, uh, the length of the, the, the land. So as um, long as it's a city ordinance, we can do that. I mean, I'm on a, or the county, I mean. I want to make sure I can do that. But we have the materials to do that already. We can put the fence up so people don't go that way, and we can run a fence this way so they just can't you know, stop doing that. Now, after the firework stand's gone, they're going to continue to do that because I'm going to take my fence down. I mean, um, as far as till midnight, you want me to stop at 10 o'clock? We stop at 10 o'clock. I would really appreciate it. I would do that for you, Mr. Quinn. Every day at 10 o'clock, we're done. You know, and uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and as far as the garbage and all that, uh, I will personally come and see you when we're done, and I will personally clean it up. If it does meet your satisf case, satisfy you, I will stay there and do it until it's done right. I mean, even though we didn't make the mess, or from the bar or whatever, we're gonna, we want to work with you because it's, it's not a one-year deal. We want to be there every year, but we, I know I have to get along with the neighbors. And what I say has to be the truth, and that's what you'll find out. It will be the truth. Mr. Deming, is there any chance you could send... Uh, Mr. Quinn to uh, the Wisconsin Dells for nine days in <laughs> July. <laughs> I'm teasing, sorry. But I, I do appreciate the idea on the hours, uh, and I also like the fence idea. Um, and th and I, the people I, working there, uh, you know the James family? Yes, I know the James family. They're, because of the James family, I don't know if you get along with them or not, but because of them is how this all came about, because they told me the church used to do it. And sure, they go rent their house. Once or twice a week. Yep. Oh, is it? Oh, okay. But anyways, that's kind of how I found out about this was available. So. Well, I just, I, I'm sorry. I, I apologize. No, I, don't. I'm, I'm not in favor of this thing. Like I said, I, I can't begrudge you a living. I can't. Uh, I'm sure we'll go to nose to nose if it don't fly right. But I, I, uh, uh, if it doesn't fly right, Mr. Quinn, I won't be back there next year. You have my word. I'm not going to fight you. It's not worth that. I just give me the opportunity to prove to you that I'm a man of my word and the people that work for me. If not, then we won't be back. Well, you know, we'll only go till 10. Somebody don't get hurt. That's fine. Anyway. Well, I don't want that either. I mean, I have to provide, I have to provide insurance. I've seen little kids out there playing around in that slot, and their mom and dad go to the bar. I've seen as high as 20 kids out there kicking a ball around. And yet somebody will come over and they'll drive through my corner of my driveway and they'll plop down and drive over that way. I, I just, I, it's not a good deal. And we I appreciate you trying to work this out between you. I think that that's uh, being good neighbors. Yeah, I mean, whether you're going to be there for a short period of time or he's still there. Right. And that's what this is all about. And that's what we try to do, too, if we can work it out. Right. So we appreciate it working at that. But I think it, between the two of you, I think if you can work out your differences, 
you can make this work, at least for this year. Yes. Becky? Yes, thank you. It's Okay, we're going to move on. Becky, you got a comment? Yep. All I was going to say was it sounds like we maybe have two different issues here and the there's a something historical that maybe the staff will need to look into related to some of your concerns, but I think as far as the permit itself, um, I think that reducing of the hours to 10 p.m., I'm a little concerned about the driveway and amount of, of loose gravel. Um, I guess I would like to see see that portion that butts right up against the highway have the crushed asphalt or something like we usually require. And I'm not sure, staff, how far back that would need to be. But I would feel better. I think that helps with safety as well and not having loose gravel on the highway. I'm, I'm fine with that, Becky. Okay, commissioners, do you have any other comments? So under condition nine talks about uh, 24 feet of toll driving width. So is that sufficient? Is that our oh, thing? Oh, that's the driving width. 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 And then for a distance of whatever, and I think we'll just say, just if you want a hard surface, and I think we're just saying here, it needs to be a hard surface, not gravel. 24 feet wide for a distance of 30 feet. I would that's too hard. I would also say, Mr. Deming, I think there needs to be a uh, marker showing, a reflector showing where the edge of that driveway is because if I'm buzzing down there at 60 miles an hour, which it's 55, I believe, but it's 65 all the way down from Del Rapids, and uh, I don't think they break until 60th Street North, but uh, Kevin, do they? You, that's the way you come. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, uh, so a couple of markers there, would that be all right? Well, I guess I'd like to suggest a couple of additional conditions then. Go ahead. Um, I'd like to uh, suggest that we change that to 12 a.m. to 10 p.m., that we add a 13th with a, uh, a fence, and that uh, uh, I don't know where a hard surface needs to go on there, but. Uh, number nine. Number nine. Yeah, a, a hard surface for 30 feet. And then uh, I guess I'm just saying this because I think about it, uh, some kind of reflector on the edge of, of where the driveway is so that people don't misjudge in, in the darkness. And Maybe you can add that on to 13. You got a fence, fence. and reflectors. add the reflectors. Would that be all right? I think that that's and, and more honestly, of a safety thing. Um, I, I don't disagree. Honestly, I will be talking to the sheriff about uh, keeping an eye on, on things. He's got a lot of places to keep an eye on in this uh, county, unfortunately, and uh, it doesn't slow down in the summertime. But I will talk to the sheriff about patrolling Renner Corner in general and uh, uh, keep an eye out for Kevin driving down to work, too. <laughs> So anyway, that was my motion then to uh, add the hard surface, 30 feet wide, 10 p.m. fence and marker. I'll second with condition that uh, Jeff has put forward. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Mr. Quinn. Okay. No items on the regular agenda. Well, we push that one. Um, old business?
I think it's till 2019. I thought I looked. So it'll but be the whatever. Of disappointment. And then um, the second item of new business um, would be in the past, uh, we have had a, um, a uh, planning commission summer activity. And um, uh, I know that there's been some interest expressed that we should have another summer activity. So any suggestions on where you would like to? David planning the, <laughs> 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 the safari. Maybe the safari. <laughs> How about we ride bikes down to Newton Hills? <laughs> Pop's place isn't isn't doing tasting yet, are they? Uh, Anderson's yeah. Yeah, t Saturdays two to five or something. One to seven. Saturdays. But there's one no to seven. no food there. What would be? Has anybody been? Have you? Any I've been there. It's always been closed. My son was there for a wedding. So if you want to do it at that, at that Anderson Pop's place. It's just kind of nice to go someplace Something different. where yeah. we have, they've come before us and we've oh, made yeah. some okay. kind of an approval of a. Do you want us to check into it and see? And then maybe, I don't know if, if they would allow us to have something catered in or if you'd want, because we've done that before too, where we have, um, uh, we, we could have like Chinese brought in and then, you know, the beer or whatever, or you could do a pop up thing. Or you could bring chicken. I mean, we could we could do like a chicken thing, and everyone. Uh, that sounds fine. Let's investigate okay. and okay. see what we could do. And you know, there we have wineries and stuff that I've never been to. Uh, yep. There's, there's yeah, other I agree. We're at. It's by over by Gerritsen. Oh, uh, Highway 11 there. That's closed whenever I drive by it. Oh, that's they right. are Everybody Republicans too. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Anybody else? Yes. Yes, get it. Yes, yes. no. You know, we could go uh, uh, see a, a ball game in Renner Corner, too. We yeah. could go to see... Uh, we always talked about doing that, didn't we? Go to the Monarch yeah. Lounge. Yeah. yeah. We could go to Monarch and sit on, sit on that deck. Sit on the deck oh, that we approved, yeah. <laughs> we approved that deck. That's right. <laughs> well, was that two years ago? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Before I came out. We've been out there. Okay. We've been out there before. Uh, check the check those things. You bring some options. Okay. Monarch well, would be... Let me we'll, we'll have stock in for you in June. And then Great. We'll I, I, madam. <laughs> Go ahead. Thank you. Um, <laughs> they shouldn't be driving through his property. That's really a bar issue. Not but right. you know, I know that. Yeah. So, I mean, what is there anything that we have in our card? It's deck? the sheriff. I think it's got to be the sheriff. It's got to be the sheriff. There's nothing with our conditional use permit well. there. I think we can look. I, I don't, don't think know how we can take that any jurisdiction. Out it's not really an activity that's occurring on their property is the problem. Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. I've I had we can look into it. That's a, you're right. You're right. It's yeah. I've had people drive across stuff. my lawn before, too. So uh, we can look into no it. good it reason. Across my lawn. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can look really? into it. And, and you're right, Becky. It, it really it was two issues. I mean, mm -hmm. a, a lot of, of what I was hearing was frustration with the bar. Yep. With the bar. Yep. Not yeah, exactly. not with the fireworks. It and sometimes it's so hard if you have a situation that is displeasing. Yeah. It's really hard to separate those out. Well, it's kind of the old floor parking there, I it think. Is. Yeah. You know, on that side there. Yeah. I move adjournment. Okay. All right. Second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 We're done. Yeah.